featuring a collection of vivid stories told with wicked humor and an array of eccentric characters. August Wilson's How I Learned What I Learned offers a tale of self-discovery, adversity, love, and what it means to be a black artist in America. And here to tell us more is actor Stephen Anthony Jones. Yeah. Stephen, thank you so much for joining me here on Live in the Bay. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank I'm you. so excited to talk about How I Learned What I Learned. And so for anyone who doesn't know, give us an overview of what it's all about. Well, this is a, an autobiographical account that August Wilson wrote. It's the last thing he wrote after the 10 play cycle. And he performed it himself initially. And it is the story literally of his growing up um, and becoming a mature writer. Uh, he started out as a poet and he finished as what I think of as the greatest writer in the American theater in the 20th century. What was it like for you stepping into this role? And did you feel any sort of pressure wanting to, you know, do it justice? Well, initially, uh, we were with his uh, wife, Constanza Romero, and she was the dramaturg. And so one of the things I said on the first day of rehearsal is, I'm not trying to be August Wilson. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try to bring authenticity, honesty, and truth to the telling of these stories. How have you prepared then to get into this role, and what is that process like for you? Well, we had a long rehearsal period in Oregon, and that was really great because it, it allowed Constanza to give me so much information. She knew the people that I talk about in the stories. Uh, like, there, there's a little section where I mention a guy named Nick Flournoy, and she said, Nick always carried a, a, a suit coat on two fingers, mm -hmm. so whenever August mentioned his name, he would go, Nick Flournoy. And I put that right, <laughs> I stole it, I yeah. put it right in the show. I yeah. love that, yeah. I love that. What do you want people who come and see the show to take away? Hmm, there is so much to take away from what August has written. I, I, I wouldn't dictate anything. Um, I believe that anyone who comes will take away a wealth of ideas. They will be uh, amused. There's a lot of humor, uh, but there's also a great deal to think about. And I just want to reiterate that this is you, a one-man show, performing for over an hour. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what does that entail for you to really just be focused and be committed and give it your all for that time? Well, I, I, uh, they, they give us calls in the theater. They give us a half hour, 15, five in places. At 15, I go sit backstage by myself, and I spend that 15 minutes focusing, focusing, focusing and thinking about the beginning and kind of the end. I always tell myself, I have put in the work and now I will let it come out for this audience. I love that. I love that. That's kind of actually something that I do as well when I'm kind of prepping. I fill in, you know, Olivia's our host, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not always in the routine. So you just need that little bit of time to kind of mentally prepare and just, you know, you've done all the work, you, you're, you've prepared and just give it your all. Yes, absolutely. With that, what would you say is the most challenging part of putting on this one-man show? Hmm. I, the most challenging thing is being out there for an hour and 50 minutes. Um, I am soaking wet when I finish. Mm -hmm. My face is drenched with sweat. My, my, my clothing, the audience can't tell, but my clothing is wet. And I, it, it is a, it, it's like a, an enormous, it's like an hour and a half or an hour and 50 minute workout. Uh, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I finish. What have you learned from this character that you'll take into your everyday life? Oh gosh, I, one of the things that, I, uh, that August emphasizes over and over is how much reading he did. And it makes me go back and look at my personal library and actually want to reread some of the books that I've read so that I have the, the same, or I begin to approach having the same level of understanding and insight into that writing. Great writing is also a, a great teacher. 
Yeah, and I think that as you read things when you get a little bit older, you can uh, appreciate them or take them in in a certain way that you weren't able to before, you know, mm -hmm. if you've read something previously, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, it is the fact that maybe I read something 15 years ago, but when I reread it, I'm reading it with different eyes and I'm bringing something different to that rereading, and like you said, it lands differently. Yeah. Why is it important to have this story shared and told again? Well, this is, an, an, uh, I think, a very, very important piece of writing about uh, all of us and our history, both black, white, brown, all of us here in America, and our history and how that has shaped us as, as a large group and as individuals. What do you want your audience members to leave with after they've seen your play and, you know, mm. just had a great night? What do you want them to take away? Gosh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try to dictate that because there's so much depth in this play and there are so many things. And I understand from my experience that when I say a line, however I say it, it lands differently on each person in the audience, and each person in the audience will take away something different. What's one of your favorite parts of the show? Because you're, how many different changes do you have, costume changes? Oh no, I'm in the same costume. Okay. Yeah, I just change characters. I change my voice, I change. Uh, my, my favorite character in the play is a character named Cy Morocco, mm -hmm. and August refers to him as the original homeless man. And I find uh, Cy just in, in, infinitely interesting and, and complicated. What is something that makes him interesting and complicated? Well, he's very eccentric. When August met him, they met at a restaurant. He had on a sport coat. August said, hey, I, I, I like your sport coat. And he took it off and gave it to him. And I've, I've often wondered, I'm, I'm dressed in, in a, a sport jacket during, during the play, I've often wondered, was that the beginning of August uh, putting together his look? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before I let you go, just one final question. How can people come and watch the show? How can they get tickets? How do they find out the information to come and check it out before it's done? Oh, they should go to Theater Works, one word, and theater is T-H-E-A-T-R-E, and then works is capitalized, but theaterworks.org. They can get tickets right there online. They can see when the performances are because the, the, the start times uh, vary depending on the day of the week. And I, I, I would love for them to come down and see this show. It is, I think, an incredible piece of theater. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for joining us and sharing all about it. And I know that you'll break a leg in your last few performances through, through the next week and a half. Oh, thank you, Jess.